But of course, we start with Manchester United and the news that a deal is close to bring Ruben Amorin in as the club's new manager. Well, we've sent our reporter Gary Cottrell out to Lisbon for what could be Amorin's last game in charge of the club this evening. Gary, good evening to you. Got there pretty fast, didn't you? Looks like this move <laughs> is getting ever closer. What do we know at this stage? Yes, hello, Gail. Sky Sports News, of course, inevitably in the right place at the right time because Ruben Amarim's sporting club, the Portugal, of course, as it's known these days, taking part in a quarter final of the Portuguese League Cup tonight. It's a quarter past eight kickoff, so in about three, three and a half hours, the man himself would be sitting in that chair. And we expect him, given what's happened today, given that the club have issued that statement uh, uh, through uh, the official channels, through the, through the stock exchange, that uh, an acceptance of uh, that uh, fee that uh, the club need to release their head coach. We expect him uh, to the fans at the end of the match to say goodbye to the fans. That's certainly the rumour here tonight. And then in this news conference room, him to make some kind of admission that he's going to Manchester United to the assembled media and the club president as well, by the way, all adding to the plot, is expected to give interviews after that news conference. So exciting times potentially. That's my point of view. Let's get the point of view of a journalist who follows Sporting Club de Portugal week in, week out, follows Amarim week in, week out, Philip Belrera. Philip, of what I just said, is that about right to you? Do you think it's going to be an interesting evening, a momentous evening in a way for the club? Uh, yes, hello Gary. And I think, like you said, it will be really interesting, not only for us, for journalists, for uh, public that loves football, but also and foremost uh, for the sporting supporters who will be uh, curious to see how is the reaction of Juan Amorim, if this is the last game like, like we expect it to be, and uh, m most of all, uh, which will be the sentence, which will be the uh, explanation for a marine for those uh, busy days, like it's like a day that has passed uh, since the, uh, the um, exit of uh, Tenac and uh, rumors about a marine. Uh, but I think, like you said, Right now, Sporting uh, has announced that it's all up to ends for the coach because City, uh, United, uh, sorry, it's, uh, it will play the clause, the 10 million clause. Uh, Amory um, has given the green light to accept the, the project, the challenge of going to Man United and Sporting um, accepted also. So uh, we remain to see uh, which will be the explanations of Amory. Uh, I'm really curious. Uh, I think you also are. Uh, but uh, it will be really a big challenge for him if he goes to Man United uh, right now. I love the way you say his name, the proper Portuguese way. Amorim. Am say it again. Uh, Amorim. Ruben Amorim. Yeah, very good. He, also, he indeed has a music, a chant for him. I, uh, for so. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get you to do it. Do you think he will... If he does go to Manchester United, and it seems like he will, is it a risky move for him? Do you think he'll have what it takes to turn the club around? Uh, I think uh, it will, without a doubt, be a risky move, like it was when he came to, to Sporting, uh, because uh, right now he has two championships for Sporting, he has uh, cup, cup uh, trophies, uh, he's doing a good um, a path in the European competitions, he will get to play against City, or he would, uh, he at, would, have. He would have at <laughs> Tuesday. Uh, and uh, foremost, in the beginning, it wasn't consensual, or it wasn't a, a good idea seen by the supporters to get a it was a risky move by the president, Frederic Varandas, by the, by the board of Sporting, but it was a good one because he won trophies. I think for United it will be a risky move uh, and it's a, bit, a little bit similar uh, project uh, that he will find in United like he will find in Sporting. I don't think in terms of financial it's, uh, um, it's the same because United is a big club and there's a lot of uh, financial uh, potential with uh, Ineos also in it, but Sporting was in a crisis, he took place, he gave minutes to young players, he took a uh, uh, playing style very dynamic, he won the group most of all, he united the club uh, and I think he can do also that in United, but it's a big challenge for him, but I think he fought the, uh, he was uh, linked to English clubs in the summer and he didn't come out to nothing. Uh, or for example, Liverpool, West Ham, he didn't come out to nothing. He stayed and he thought maybe we have Man United. It's a big challenge. He's a big club like he, like he, he wants and he likes. But uh, he thought that opportunity might not come uh, also yeah. again. 
and he took uh, this chance. We'll see if it pays out or no. Or no. But for example, he, he has a really young squad with players that he knows, like Fernandes, like Ugarte, that he, he wanted in Sporting. Uh, I think he wants to be like, for example, Jose Mourinho, which, which is his idol, and uh, take uh, trophies for, for Man United. Well, Amarim uh, is, uh, well, we hear there, his, um, his hero is Jose Mourinho. Yes, his idol. We'll be hearing from him, of course, a little bit later on. So linked uh, with West Ham didn't happen, linked with Liverpool didn't happen, linked at times with Chelsea as well didn't happen, but it looks like this is going to happen. Just as the plot thickens a little bit, we understand that the club TV, MUTV, have got a journalist and a camera on their way over here to do an interview with Amarim. So, will he be facing Manchester City on Tuesday or will he be facing Chelsea on Sunday? Well, I'm backing you, Gary, to get there ahead of those MUTV people. We will speak to you <laughs> a little bit later.